<laughs> How y'all doing? It is very windy. I don't know if you can hear me. If you can't, I'll have to do a voiceover. <coughs> but anyway, I'm out here with a $2,700 backhoe. And what we're gonna to do today is replace the fan belt. Uh, my last, my last uh, episode of this, we replaced the water pump. Well, nothing wrong with the old one, but I replaced it anyway. Because when you tear down so far into here, it's just good preventive maintenance. And I don't want to have to take this thing all, all apart all over again in case the water pump goes bad. And it's only $35. Now if it's a hundred and something dollars, that's a totally different story, but $35 for water pump, like I say, it's called preventive maintenance. It's just like keeping oil changed in your car. You take good care of it and it's gonna be there and work for you. So, last episode we got the, we got the, uh, I got my grease rag over the microphone. I might have to do a voiceover. Anyway, last episode we got the water pump in and now then we're putting in the fan belt. And to do that, I have to pull the hydraulic pump. It's not, it's not rocket science, but, it's a, but there is some uh, interesting things you run into when you do it. So uh, without further ado, Let's just get into it, shall we? I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day. For all this junk I keep My neighbors all hate me They abuse and berate me Cause I like doing it cheap Yeah, I like doing it cheap Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap Okay well, what we're going to try to do today is install the new fan belt. And that's what created all this big job anyway. Folks, a few things I want to point out to you because in this video, the, uh, the wind is blowing so much and where I had to set the camera, it's really difficult to see what I'm doing. So looking at this picture, let me explain to you what's going on. The hydraulic pump is that item right dead center and you see I've already pulled the two mounting bolts. So the bolts are out of it to allow the hydraulic pump to slide forward. But it's not gonna come forward until we take loose that high pressure line on the right hand side as you're looking at it. And there's a black hose on the left held in place with two hose clamps. That hose is the only thing that caused any difficulty whatsoever. Whoever had put this on previously, and this wasn't from the factory, Lord, this thing's 40 year old or older, maybe 50. <laughs> anyway, uh, that black hose on the left should only be three inches long and it's four and a half inches long. If it was three inches long, we could just slide it to the left loosen up some uh, hose clamps on the bottom of that big metal pipe you see curled right in front of the hydraulic pump and that would allow that to swing forward you'll see this later but that black hose right there caused more trouble than anything else and uh <laughs> anyway let's get back to it so we've got our new water pump installed i've got my new radiator here ready to put in but again the main reason for all this was to replace my fan belt. 
and you can't replace a fan belt unless you pull that hydraulic pump forward off of the crankshaft and then you can get the hose around that pulley well if you notice on the right there's a pressure hose that means that when that that means that when that pump is pumping you got high pressure coming out the as you're looking at it the right side so that pressure hose has to be removed because that pump has to slide forward and over here this is what you call the suction line it's not under pressure and basically it's plumbed straight back there to the uh, hydraulic storage tank maybe there's a filter between it and all that but regardless that's where we're going to get a lot of fluid going to dump out if this thing is full I have no idea how much fluid is in here but I'm just going to loosen a few hoses and and I've brought some buckets to catch it in and more than likely I'll just I've already got some new fluid more than likely I'll just drain all this old stuff out because I don't know anything about it and put all new fluid in there so let me get in there and get to twisting hose clamps and, and uh, a big old pair of a big old crescent wrench loosen up that line <coughs> what a pretty day not going to have another day like this for for a while here it is in january it's going to be 63 degrees today in shelbyville tennessee And it ain't supposed to be this warm again for quite a while. So I want to get in here and take advantage of this while I could. two-year-old siren firing up. Oh, he's mad about something. I want to show you here is oh, you see this pipe right here you see how I, this will swing up whoop, dump fluid <laughs> the thing is a feller put this hose on he put a hose They reached all the way to here, okay? Now, by doing that, by putting a hose on that reaches all the way to there, there's no room to slide it off. In a perfect world, this would have been a short hose that stopped about there, and you clamped it down, and all is good in the world. Well,
that's what you got to do to put a new fan belt on. You got to pull that radiator and you got to pull that hydraulic pump. And that hydraulic pump would have been a piece of cake if the feller that put that hose on there had known what he was doing. And I, you know, I gotta admit that I didn't know what was inside that hose myself. I didn't know if there was a big gap in there or what. So I just cut the hose off in order to be able to move all that contraption out of the way. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye everybody. I throw nothing away. I'll find you another day. For all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me. They abuse and berate me. Cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. You gotta work with what you got. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Oh, ha, ha.